have had three possessions and have not gained more than 15 yards on any of them so far. Here's Bryce Petty, wide open. They'll get more than 15 yards on this play. Antoine Goodley up the sideline. And a win over Iowa State. Breaking tackles. Good run. I shot Linwood. Petty on the slant. Incomplete. Looking for Corey Coleman. They force Baylor into another third down here. And Baylor will try to run for it. And keeping his balance and getting the first down, it looks like, is Linwood. He kept his balance. He stays on his feet. He's not the tallest guy. He's kind of vertically challenged, but he is a good player. <laughs> right action for Petty. Bullets one of the sideline and it's broken up. Linwood gets the edge. Breaks another tackle down the sideline. Finally ridden out of bounds. See that nice block by Antoine Goodley outside? He came back and just waffled somebody. I didn't get see that. Well done. If you're going to have a successful run game, your wide receivers, they've got to block. This is basically a run play in the Baylor offense. Just a quick hitch. That's caught by Antoine Goodley, and he picks up 11 more. That's smart by Bryce Preddy. When he sees that you're playing off coverage like that, you get a guy like Goodley who's a powerful guy and an excellent runner. That's how big he is. Right up the middle. The eighth play of the drive picks up about four and a half more. Both these runners are good inside runners. Right up the middle again. Jefferson spins. A try to run for it again. Bouncing off tacklers is Jefferson, and he's got the first down. It'll be first and goal. He was stopped on a play that was designed to go up the middle, but bounced it outside. Yeah, the difference between when you watch good defenses and bad defenses is the edge. Holding the edge, keeping a strong edge. That time they did not keep the edge. Jefferson found it. First and goal. Quarterback run for Petty. Petty, they'll try to run for it. Lowers his shoulder at the goal line. Is he in? No signal yet. Touchdown, Baylor. Bryce Petty is able to knock it through. His 19th career rushing touchdown. And it's a two-score lead for the Bears. Well, he wants the quick throw, and it's taken away. So he just pulls it down and uses his instinct, and then his strength at the end. Doesn't quite get there. After further review, the ball carrier was down at the half yard line. Wow. So the knee was down. ball, second and goal from the half yard line. The clock will start on the ready for play. There's the knee, there's the ball. That's a good call by the officials. So that will at least give the Texas defense a chance to play goal line. But check out the size of the fullback. Laquan McGowan at 390 pounds. There to push the pile. Did Linwood follow him in? Baylor thinks Linwood got through. I don't look at the look at the, the headlines, but down here, he's it's not marked. They untangle the pile. Short of the goal line. It's fourth and goal from inside the one. That's a big fullback. Hard to believe he didn't get in. Baylor will go for it on fourth and goal. Penny on the quarterback sneak. Moves the pile. Is he in? Texas thinks they have a stop. Did Texas just put together a goal line stand? And they did. There was stop. Short of the goal. The ruling on the field is under further review. So they'll go to the replay booth again. And how could you possibly overturn the call on the field? You can't see Bryce Petty, much less the football. Yeah, but what you can see is where his knee is. And that's down right there. He does not get in. Even if they had ruled it a touchdown, I'm not sure how you'd ever overturn it. And he just disappears into a sea of bodies. There has to be indisputable evidence to overturn the call of the field. And the call was Texas got him stopped. Edmund did a nice job. See how he goes over the top of the blockers and hits Petty. Petty's head is down, and then they spike him right there. I mean, that knee is down. I 
can't see where the ball is, and no one else will either. Ridgeway on the inside did a great job. Low man wins inside. You just got, ooh, that's a good get off. And Edmonds over the top. That's well done. After further review, the ruling on the field stands as call. First and 10, Texas. So the good news for Texas, they get the goal line stand. The bad news, the back nose of the football is almost touching their goal line. So you can't ask for much more if you're Baylor's defense. You have a chance to completely flip the field. But that's how far short Baylor came from scoring points and adding to their lead. So it stays 7-0.